Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to dive deep into the back end of my blog and we're going to take a look at my analytics. Now I have never done anything like this before and I honestly can't even tell you the last time I did an income or analytic report on my blog. It's been a while and I know when I was starting my blog, I thought I had to have hundreds of thousands of page views, over 10,000 email subscribers and I had to have these crazy statistics to become a full-time blogger or to make it as a blogger. Blogger, but that's really just not the case. So today I kind of want to open your guys' eyes and share what my analytics are. So we're going to take a look at my Google Analytics, Google Search Console. I'm going to show you guys my Pinterest, my Instagram, and even my YouTube channel just to show you the stats that I am getting right now and how I am able to still work full time for myself and make good money off of my blog with the stats that I have. The first thing we really need to look at is my Google Analytics. And I'm going to show you guys all of my stats for April. Since we're partway through May right now, it doesn't it doesn't really help you guys if I only show you part of a month. So I'm going to show you all of my stats from April. You probably want to know how many page views I get on my website a month. I would say it's a pretty normal statistic to go off of. And that's really what some brands require to even start working with brands to join some affiliate marketing networks. You need to have a certain number of page views. So to share with you guys my page views in April, I had around 13,000 page views. That's it, just 13,000 page views. Now, if you have no idea what page views are, page views means the number of pages that are viewed on your website. And since they did it for the whole month, I had 13,000 pages that were viewed on my website. So that could be the same page viewed multiple times. That is not the number of people on my website. In just April, I had 8,551 people visit my website. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the average time on site or average session duration. And mine was about one minute and six seconds for April. That can seem pretty bad. I mean, people are only spending one minute on my website. So when I look at my 10 most popular pages on my website, the average time spent on each page is three minutes and 39 seconds compared to that one minute. That is my whole website average as a whole. If people are spending time on my blog posts and my YouTube video blog posts, that is what I want. I want people to be enjoying my content, to be reading my content, to be using my content, to find it helpful. That is the goal. So if my most viewed pages have a higher average time spent on those pages, then I am perfectly perfectly okay with those stats. And the last thing I want to show you within Google Analytics is where my website traffic is coming from. Now this really should not be a surprise to you guys at all, but my first main source of traffic is Pinterest. Of course it is Pinterest. And when you look at these stats, it's a little weird to look at because there's like .au and .ca and those are just different countries. Pinterest links, Pinterest URLs, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of Pinterest that comes up here. It's just Pinterest being searched in a different country that's leading to my website. But the second driver of traffic for me is Google. So I do want to jump over to Google Search Council. Now to explain what Google Search Council is, it's basically the hub to understanding what keywords you're ranking for on Google. I mean, it's it's like Google's hub. And again, to give you guys a good representation of a whole month's worth of stats, I did select all of the dates in April of 2019. So we can take a look at that. And in just that one, month, I had 1.96 thousand clicks. I had 83.5 thousand impressions. And I would say on average a day, I'm getting about 60 or so clicks to my website. The highest I got in April was 105 clicks to my website. And the lowest I got was 43 clicks to my website. At this point, you're probably wondering how much money I make based off of those page views and the number of people that are visiting my website. And I just shared this in my last YouTube video, but I am actually only making around $20 a day with my ads. Yes, $20 a day with 13,000 page views a month. You cannot rely on your ads. I'm, I'm just gonna drop that in there time and time again. You guys cannot rely on your ads. You definitely do need other income streams. And ads, it's not my main source of money. Obviously, I have only made a little over $200 just for my ads in almost three years. So my other income streams, such as my affiliate marketing, my courses, and my services, that is where I make my money. So page views are not the be all to end all. Even with those page views and how much money I'm making with ads, I am still working full time by myself. So do not not, do not just rely on those stats in terms of your success. 
Now let's dive into the social media side of this report. And the first thing I wanna look at is my YouTube channel. Since you guys are on my YouTube channel right now, you can probably already see that I have got 837 subscribers, at least at the time that I am shooting this. It may have changed. And if we take a look at my analytics for the last 28 days, I am generating around 132 new subscribers every 28 days, or at least within the past 28 days. My views are around 7.1K and my watch time is 28.9K in just those last 20 eight days. Now, the only other stat that I feel like you guys might be interested in when it comes to YouTube would be probably how many like clicks or how many views I'm getting on my video based off of search. And for the past 28 days, I've had 16,346 minutes of watch time just from a YouTube search. I've had 3,993 views in that time, as well as about 28,000 impressions in a YouTube search. So my videos are appearing in YouTube search. I realized that back in October about of last year, my search traffic really spiked and now I am kind of working with the YouTube algorithm, you know, I'm figuring things out. So that's it for YouTube stats. Let's jump to Instagram. I forgot to add this stat in there, but in case you guys want to know how many views my YouTube channel has, you guys can always take a look at it. It is available for anyone to see. It is in the about section of my YouTube channel, but right now I have got 47,345 views on my YouTube channel. But right now, really the success of my YouTube channel relies on you guys. So when you guys like my video and you subscribe to my channel that seriously does help to support me and I cannot thank you guys enough. When I started my blog, <laughs> I set this goal for myself where within the first year, by the end of 2017, I wanted to have 50,000 followers on Instagram. And back then, I thought that Instagram was gonna be a great place to grow my blog, to grow my audience, and I thought if I put a lot of time into it, it was going to pay off, I was gonna get a lot of followers. And I quickly realized that Instagram was kind of a waste of my time in terms of growing my audience, but was a great way to connect with my audience. Instagram is a place for me to be real with you guys, to talk with you guys, and to connect with my current audience instead of growing my audience. So right now, I currently have one 1,938 followers and I am totally, totally fine with that. Last but not least, guys, we have to talk about my powerhouse, Pinterest. <laughs> I, I adore Pinterest and it is one of the platforms that I am definitely most proud of. It is the platform that I am most proud of. I worked really, really hard to get my Pinterest to where it's at today. So I'm really excited to share these stats with you guys and take a look at my Pinterest analytics. At the time that I'm recording this, I have got 9,207 followers on my Pinterest platform. And I am reaching an average of 1.4 million average monthly viewers on Pinterest right now. And I know I shot that video not too long ago explaining how I was able to reach 2 million average monthly viewers on Pinterest. But as I explained in that video, having that many monthly viewers does not really attribute that much to how many clicks you get on your website and growing your website in general. You could have a large Pinterest presence where you're reaching over 10 million people every single month, but only like three clicks to your website a day. So I really try to pay more attention to how many clicks I'm getting to my website through my pins compared to my average monthly viewers. You guys may have already seen, but Pinterest recently changed their analytic platform. So this is what their analytics looks like now. And I did change the date range so that we're looking at all of April yet again, just so you guys get a full picture of a whole entire month, what my stats are. So for my impressions on just my pins, the pins leading to my website, I had 475,032 impressions just on those pins. Now, when you look at the number of clicks, just for April, I had 6,143 clicks on all of my pins. And I would say on average, if I just hover over these, I would say I'm averaging about like 180 maybe clicks a day. The highest I had in April was 259 clicks to the pins leading to my website, and the lowest I had was 153. So the number of monthly viewers you are reaching does not mean that you are going to get more clicks to your website. It does not mean that you are gonna grow your website traffic. So you really need to make sure that your SEO is on point and that you're creating good content that is not only going to be found on Pinterest, but also clicked on Pinterest. And that's it with the stats that I'm going to share with you guys today. I really did not want to dive too much into my income other than the ads to show you what I'm making with my page views. But beyond that, my goal for this video was not to dive into the money. It was just to show you kind of some of the stats that go on in, within my website and within my YouTube channel and everything else that is involved in my brand. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you are down there. And I will see you guys back here in another video really soon. Bye guys.